Okay, this video is just uh, one about a more difficult indicial equation. Uh, it's no surprise here though that our first step is to equate the bases. Uh, I should probably look at the question first. Uh, 5 to the power of x times 25 to the power of 2x minus 3 equals 625. So equating the bases, we get 5 to the x times 5 to the 2 to the power of 2x minus 3 equals um, 5 to the power of 4 makes 625. Okay, so we've equated all of our bases here. I'm just going to sort of ignore this 5 to the x at the front. Now, you should recall from your index laws that a to the power of b to the power of c equals a to the power of bc, b times c. So we can apply our same rule here. So this is going to be 5, uh, 2 times 2x minus 3. Okay, so I'm just multiplying that by all of that. We get 5 to the power of 4 there. Now we get 5x times uh, using my distributive law, multiply that by that and that by that, we get uh, 4x minus 6 equals 5 to the 4. Okay, uh, more index law stuff. You should remember that a to the power of m times a to the power of n, sorry, that's an m, equals a to the power of m plus n. That, uh, if we apply that to this bit here, we'll see that 5 to the power of x times 5 to the power of 4x minus 6 will be 5 to the power of x plus 4x uh, minus 6 equals 5 to the power of 4. Uh, we can group terms in there here. So we'll end up with 5 to the 5x minus 6 equals 5 to the 4. Okay, and this is where it all comes together. Therefore, uh, if x to the 5x minus 6 equals 5 to the 4, that means that 5x minus 6 equals 4. Uh, now we go through some pretty simple algebra. That negative 6 moves over here. We end up with 4 plus 6, which gives us 10. 5x equals 10. Therefore, x is 10 divided by 5. Running out of room, x equals 2. Now, of course, if you want to check if that answer is right, you can sub it back into the original equation, and it should work out just fine. Okay, that's a much harder indicial equation, but it gives you an idea of some of the harder stuff you'll be doing.